Hey, what's up guys? Yeah, really one more come back here on my channel with a new tutorial. This time I'm gonna show you how to set up Wing Views in Microsoft Flight Sim 2020. I already did a tutorial about it, but I used a little bit more complicated method. And this time I'm gonna show you a little bit more easier method. Alright guys, welcome to Edinburgh. We are standing here with a PMDG 77800. And the first thing which you need to do is go into the menu, go to general option, and then developers, and you need to switch on the developer mode. At me it's already on, but you need to switch it on, this is required for the next steps. Since you did this, um, exit the menu, and now where you should have like a top bar here with a develop developer mode. Now, open your Explorer. So, where you need to go into your community folder, in the Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 folder, you can find it uh, via local cache, packages, and community in the Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 folder. And there you need to go, in this case, on the 737-738 from PMG. The same works for other aircrafts if you want to edit the wing views on other aircrafts. Simul jacks, airplane, 727-800. And then you go on the camera CFG. Open this up. And there you scroll down a little bit until you see initial X-ray Yankee Zulu. And where you change the first number to random number, but I can recommend you five. Save it. Go back to your simulator and go to the top bar for your developer mode. And there you go on tools and open the aircraft's selector. Here you just press load and re reload the aircraft, which you just spawned, in this case the 737-800 from Ryanair. So you can close the aircraft selector again, and you should now be spawned outside of the aircraft. This is monitor to set up wing views outside of the aircraft. In some planes like the Phoenix, you can just go through the door and then set up the camera views inside the cabin. But on some aircrafts like the PNG and many other aircrafts, the door is, uh, you cannot go out of a cockpit without this method which we're doing right now. So now use your arrow keys to move around. You can uh, go on cameras and set the speed a little bit higher, free lock speed. And for example, we want to set up like a wing view here, like a front right engine wing view. Uh, you now you need to save this position. So you can save uh, camera positions with STRL plus ALT and then the number. Not the number pad, the normal numbers above your letters. So for example, you can now press STRL plus ALT and it will save to the position 1. Now to load these cameras, you can um, check your options, go back to the menu, control options, keyboard, cameras, cockpit camera, and there you can see the how you save them, like I just told you with the SDRL, alt and then the number. But to load the cameras, uh, by default, I think it's where something said differently, but I have set it to the number pad. I can also recommend it to you because you can lay out the number pad like an airplane. So for example, you can set eight on the number pad for the cockpit and seven for the left engine front view and four for the uh, middle left wing view and so on and so on. So to do that, you can um, just Set for example 9 to number pad 9, uh, load custom camera 8 for number pad 8, and so on. So in this case, we have just saved uh, the front right engine view to 1. So to load it, if you set it like this with a number pad, you need to press 1 on your number pad. Uh, so after you uh, saved all the positions around your aircraft which you want, like the right engine view, and so on, you need to go back into your editor and the camera CFG and put the zero again 
and delete the five. And save it again. Now you need to reload the aircraft again via the aircraft selector. Press load. So in my case I just spawned in the cockpit. If you're not spawned in the cockpit, just go on camera and make a reset position when you should go back into the cockpit. So now you should also set up the cockpit view that you can, can go via shortcut right back into the cockpit if you were on the wing view. So like I said, um, I can recommend to use a number pad. So uh, 8 I would use for the cockpit because it's like in the front and in the middle. So in this case just make a position which is like perfect for you in the cockpit. You can also use the FO seat, whatever you want. And then press again STRL plus ALT and 8. And now if you switch for example back to the right engine view and you now you press 8 again, you can switch back to the cockpit like easily. Alright, I hope this tutorial helps you to make your experience at MSU 2020 a much more greater and set up great views for your aircrafts. Like I said, this works with any aircrafts like this. Just go into the folder, community folder and go on your aircraft which you have installed, for example the A320NX fly-by-wire or PNG and go on the camera CFG and find the initial uh, XY Yankee Zulu and change the first number so you can spawn outside of the cockpit. I hope you have a great day and see you next time in one of my streams. Bye bye!